Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Fortnite. Today we are back doing the week two challenges in Fortnite. I'm going to be showing you guys how you can complete each challenge. And also, in this week's episode, I'm going to show you guys how you can get the secret battle star once you have completed all of the seven challenges. So the first challenge on the list is to do a thousand damage with assault rifles. Obviously, I wouldn't even go for this one because you're going to get it just by playing the game. Naturally, it really doesn't make much difference. But you need to do a thousand damage to complete the first challenge. So the next challenge is to search seven ammo boxes in a single game. Now this can be quite daunting if you don't last very long in games or you just seem to be struggling with this. I have got a little tip for you guys. If you just come to where I have, I'm at the burger joint here down in Greasy Grove. In this place, you can usually find seven ammo boxes. It's actually quite crazy how many ammo boxes there are in this place. Straight away, I've got three. Um, now in the confusion and panic, I did miss that one that was on the other shelves straight across from me. So theoretically, that is four um, ammo boxes straight away so you're, you're over halfway to completing this challenge then once you've done that if you make your way down to the basement i did just take a little detour here but if you make your way down to the basement have a look under the stairs because sometimes there can be one there there's my fifth one and then there is another one around the corner which is my sixth one However, if you guys are struggling to try and get the last one or you may be one or two off, I recommend just going to the houses. As you guys can see, there is usually loads of these scattered everywhere in the houses. Just be a bit careful. You're best off going straight to the roof to see if there's one in the rooftop in the attic because there is usually one there. So that should be an easy challenge for you guys to complete once you know this little trick. The next challenge is to get three kills in Paradise Palms. Really easy challenge to do. Obviously, I am doing this in solo because there's just so many people that spawn here right now. And it is one of the easiest ones to do. So, obviously, all you got to do is get three kills. Doesn't have to be in a single game. You can do it in multiple games. It really doesn't make a difference. But three kills will get you this challenge. The next challenge is to score a basket on different hoops kind of a weird player on words there but nonetheless you have to score a basket on different hoops using the emote that you get through the battle pass the first one that i'm showing you guys is in paradise palms the next one is located at the shipping containers um, just to this side of it and as you guys can see i was trying to see how far i could get um get it without having to uh, get close i am absolutely terrible at this but the next one is right there look at the shipping containers the next one is located in Retail Row. As you guys can see, the famous basketball court next to the houses at Retail Row. Just get it in any one of these two hoops. Now, please bear in mind that both hoops count as one, so you can't use it to complete it twice. They only count as one hoop because it is on the same basketball court. So that hoop, as you guys can see there, doesn't work. The next one is located at Junk Junction. Really easy to get. It's just on the outside next to the big building. If you just go to this orange crusher um, and get it in that area. Really easy to do. Not many people will come to this one because obviously it's out of the way on the map. But there's the next one. And finally, the last one is located at Snobby Shores. Like I said, if you just make your way to the back of Snobby Shores, to this area is another one. Like I said before, only one will count, but nonetheless, that is the challenge completed. So the next challenge is to search seven chests in Loot Lake. As you guys can see, I recommend coming to this rock area just the very right of the map because usually there's two that spawn straight away uh, and it's really easy to do. Not many people go to these ones. Now, obviously, you don't have to do this in a single game, so this is a quite quick um, two chests that you can do. I highly advise you don't go into the middle because, as you guys can imagine, it is so congested. And for the next quick location, I recommend that you go to the two factory buildings on the very left of Loot Lake just because you can also get some quick chests here. Usually, there's between three and four chests chests overall as you guys can see i got two in this building there is the other building but someone was already there so i wasn't wasting my time and also you've got one in this little skip area this little factory bit over here which also counts and for this week's battle coin you need to search between an oasis rock archway and dinosaurs now if you make your way to the brand new area in paradise palms if you see here is the archway and just to the right of that where these guys have kindly destroyed there is a little rock formation and it does just spawn on this little lip area down the bottom so that's another easy battle coin that you guys can collect
So for the last challenge of the week, you've got to get two kills with the sniper rifle. As you guys can see, I am in 50-50, easy game mode to get the challenge. All you got to do, down your enemy with any gun, as you guys can see here. I'm trying to do it with a shotgun. And then once they're down, finish them off with the sniper rifle and it will count. So if I just get this last guy down, switch to your sniper rifle and kill him with it. And as you guys can see, the challenge will count. Now, once you have completed all of the week two challenges, you'll get the cool background that you can use in the loading screen. Now, unlike week one, I didn't actually show this, but in week two, here is the secret coin that you can collect once you have completed all of the week two challenges. Make your way to Lazy Links, go to the very roof, and there is the secret coin that you can collect for week two. So that's it, guys. The week two challenges are there for the take and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video as always if you have don't forget to leave a like down below let me know which challenge took you the longest and which one was the easiest for you guys to complete and i'll hopefully see you all in the next video take care